Okay, so in this particular video, we are going to we are going to derive on the free space propagation model, uh, which we all are familiar with. So ideally, the equation for free space model. If I if we start doing that, so this is ideally the derivation for the derivation of free space equation or free space model we call it okay so in this particular um, lecture you will you are, you are going to observe that how the equation of uh, free space model usually exists so this is by default the equation that we usually refer to and that is given by pr which is pt gt gr lambda square by 4 pi whole square d square considering the fact that receive power is ideally a function of d because keeping everything as constant the d is the only variable that we have so pr d so this is my receive power okay gt is the gain of the transmitter the tx antenna okay uh, we have GR as the received antenna gain. In fact, the units for this received power, the uh, PR received, ideally it's in dBm. This gain of the antenna will be in dBi. Okay, this is also in dBi. Okay, okay. Now we have lambda, which is a wavelength of the signal. And that, in fact, is given by uh, c by lambda equal to c by f. So this is also f. So this, in fact, gives us that f is equal to the carry frequency at which we are working on. So f is f c, if I call it. This is equal to carry frequency. So uh, if we if we start to define if we start to define all these uh, parameters okay, if we start to define all the uh, parameters uh, we are, what we are left with is to find out um, yes so uh, what we are left with is to find out what is uh, d which is how which happens to be the distance of separation so d is ideally the separation between transmitter and receiver. So this is these are all the parameters. But in this particular video, we want to uh, highlight on how we actually obtain uh, the equation, which is equation number one. If I mark it, so how do we obtain this equation number one? And that is what uh, we are going to discuss on. Uh, this particular um, lecture. So let's start. So in this case, what we observe is that it is into we will will categorically we will categorically uh, divide this into uh, specific uh, halves. So primarily, what we get, what we are going to start with is that for isotropic for isotropic antenna. antenna which means which radiates which radiates in all direction okay in all direction uh, the power density this is nice very important uh, factor the power density that is how much of the power is emitted through a particular area so this PD is nothing but transmitted power by 4 pi d square 
okay where if i define it where p of t is again the transmitted power which is already there uh, the only thing that is unknown to us in this case is so pt is the transmitted power and 4 pi d square happens to be the area of the sphere through which the power is emitted. So this is one very very important uh, factor we have to consider because what we are looking forward here is that when given a power, when, when, when a transmitter is placed somewhere over here which happens to be having a PT and it is sending some signal to a receiver which is some of the PR that is what we are going to calculate. So that depends on how much the power has been radiated outward okay, so from this side and how what is the aperture of the antenna or AE if I call, call this the effective aperture of the antenna or the receive antenna because ideally if I consider the receive power this will be nothing but something like this PD multiplied, multiplied by AE where this is the power density and this is the aperture, the effective aperture of the antenna. So this is the effective aperture of the received antenna. Please understand this, this is received antenna. Because we have to consider, we are finding out, we are trying to find out what is the received power. So naturally whatever, whatever has been transmitted multiplied by the size of the received antenna, how much the antenna is capturing, if you physically implement or if we physically think of it, how much of the antenna, uh, how much of the antenna is receiving that signal, that is what we are trying to calculate. So PD, we got one of the expression, but that is with respect to isotropic antenna. So let's, let's uh, box this one as well. So let this be our equation too. Okay. Now, let us go back to uh, PD. So, if we try to define it in a different way, that for a directive antenna, when for a directive antenna, okay, this PD is redefined as PT by 4 pi d squared, because here d is a separation again, once again, multiplied by something as GT. Where this GT already we have defined that that's the transmitted power gain or the, the gain of the transmitter antenna, and this why we have considered because since it's a, a directive antenna, since it's a directive antenna, okay, or the sector antenna, whatever you call it, so directive antenna will always have a greater gain factor. So it will be, it will definitely have a very high gain. It will have a very high gain. That's why the GT comes in over here. Now this PD again. Okay? Now, so this is again what we are, we have generated. Somehow we have generated. So if I go back here to the earlier diagram. So this is what is being generated over here. So PD is something which we have generated. But now while we are transferring it over the air interface. Okay. Let us have L prime as one of the loss that is happening. That is primarily the absorption loss that is happening. So while considering considering L prime as as the attenuation factor. What we can define PD is equal to PT GT 4 pi D squared multiplied by something like an L prime. So basically this happens to be the loss that we are trying to incorporate. So let us give this as an equation number 3 maybe. So last equation is equation number 2. Okay, so this may be the three, third equation. Now, as I as I already mentioned in the diagram itself, that whenever whenever you are looking at whenever you are looking at this scenario, that this PD is coming over here. So now we have considered the loss also, which is happening here. 
Now, after that, the reach over here. This is where the aperture is coming in. Okay, so this is what the receive uh, antenna, receiver antenna will actually experience. So, along with that, the aperture needs to be multiplied. Now, if I go back to the uh, antenna theory, so from antenna theory, we know that the aperture of the antenna or this AE which we are looking at, this is given by the receiver antenna's gain multiplied by the wavelength of the signal by 4 pi. This is a very conventional uh, uh, conventional equation. So, if I consider this to be equation number 4, this is a very common equation for uh, any um, um, directive, any, any antenna uh, aperture with respect to the receiver gain and the wavelength. So, if I get this as one of the factors which is quite important in fact, in fact in many of the other lectures with, when we have done that, we have observed this aperture of the, or, or the aperture antenna, the antenna aperture plays a very important role in deriving the, um, in many numericals in fact. So, uh, if we get this, so we go back to equation number 3, so applying um, so both this receive power, so if I consider the receive power now, uh, let us have this as this. So, receive power PR, which is a factor of D naturally, is nothing given by PD multiplied by AE as we have already pointed out. Now, PD is given by this equation number 3. So, PT GT by 4 pi D square multiplied by L prime. So, this is the PD part. Okay, So, this is the PD part that we have written out. If I consider this way. And then we have to multiply Okay, so this I'll I'll make a block like this, and then AE is this part. Okay, so let us have that also. That multiplied by GR lambda squared by four pi. So this is nothing but equation number four. So applying three and four on top of the earlier equation, we are getting this. And then we, if we rearrange a bit this equation, so this is coming as PT. GT GR lambda square by 4 pi d square. Okay, so 4 pi and 4 pi get squared, so 4 pi whole square d square multiplied by n prime. Now, if you closely observe that usually in the in Rappaport or in many other textbook, you will find that this L prime will observe over here. So, primarily that's a constant. This L prime is an absorption loss, which is a constant term. So, ideally, you can also write this as GT GR lambda square by 4 pi whole square d square L, where L is equal to 1 by L prime or something like this. Okay, so, this is a basically a loss which is which ideally is a, um, a constant term. So, what we are getting is finally, as we have already pointed out in the first slide, that uh, if you go on top of it, okay. so if you just go happens to go on top of it, so this is what the expression was PR equal to PT GT GR lambda square by 4 pi whole square d square. So please remember that this equation, when, when we are looking at it closely, a portion of it is very very dependent on this equation number 2, where the power generated by the transmitted antenna traveling over a distance of D and getting an attenuation loss of L, when reaches to the receiver, the receiver's aperture plays a very important role in making sure that we derive an equation of this nature. So, we can finally conclude our uh, discussion by saying that the receive power is a factor of GT GR lambda square by 4 pi whole square d square L, okay, or we can also simplify it as GT GR L multiplied by lambda by 4 pi D on square. This happens to be a very important factor because again, this lambda by 4 pi D, this lambda by 4 pi D which we are looking at over here. So, this is also a very important uh, expression, a specific reason why I am mentioning this because this happens to be a very important, this plays a very important role when we are trying to find out that what is the free, free space path loss that is happening. 
because ideally the loss will be given by the ratio of PT by PR and given GT and GR is equals to 1 so you can find out what is the uh, loss factor if, if I just happen to just relate to it once again so what I'm saying is like PT divided ratio of PT and PR if I consider this way so this happens to be uh, 4 pi d by lambda uh, whole square so this happens to be this now considering considering the fact that this is only true when l equals to 1 uh, gt equals to gr equals to 1 so suppose there is an uh, unity gain of antenna so this happens to be the uh, factor that we are looking at okay uh, so that is what I, I was talking about so uh, we can we can rearrange it and we can find out what is the loss this we have calculated in any some of my other lectures so please uh, see that uh, for your understanding so that that is all so for the purpose of this video was to uh, the, conclude that how the receive power or the how the receive power which is PRD is uh, getting this particular expression with respect to free space modeling so hope it helps uh, to understand the logic behind all these factors coming into uh, play in order to define this particular equation thank you